Thank you, Mr. President. It's nice to be back with all of you. Uh, these last few days here, I know, have been both unbelievable and unforgettable. And this traffic and weather event has really a tale of two responses. The first response we all saw was an uplifting one. Emergency workers, law enforcement, working around the clock, the brave men and women of our National Guard who always come out when we need the most, they should be commended. The regular everyday citizens of our state who brought water and granola bars, we were just talking about the folks that got on their four-wheelers and, and carried warm drinks to people and folks giving perfect strangers medicine, rides delivering babies on the interstate, <laughs> the businesses that opened their doors and, and let folks sleep in the aisles and the Home Depots that had folks sleeping on patio furniture. And we all think of the school teachers and the bus drivers that were put in impossible situations, and yet they still showed the same commitment and the same love for those students that they always do. And like all of you, I'm proud of that response from the everyday citizens of the state. I feel like Georgians were seen to really have stepped up to the plate. And they deserve to be congratulated and lifted up for that response to this disaster. I was proud of them. I know you all are, too. And then there was our state government's response. And everyone agrees that that preparation and response let those citizens down. And I've heard from many of those citizens, <laughs> many of you are outraged and angry and embarrassed. And believe me, as I saw young children sleeping on buses in the freezing night, and elderly women on the, stranded on the highway with no access to restrooms, I understand the anger and the embarrassment, especially because this is the second time in three years. But the governor has apologized. There's going to be an investigation into what happened, and there's no point today in trying to lay blame. Again, we find ourselves in a situation where we have to just talk about the lessons learned and see and ensure that it won't happen again. In that regard, I have a couple thoughts that I would like to share. Number one, I agree with the people who have called, uh, who have acknowledged that we have to incorporate a traffic plan into any emergency preparedness response, not just for snow and ice, but for any type of disaster. I know that many of you are going to work uh, together with me and others to, to make sure we solve that problem. And secondly, there's two fundamental principles of emergency management that have to guide our preparation and response in the future. Number one, we have to have unified and coordinated command and communication as soon as possible. And number two, we cannot get behind because as soon as we're trying to respond to a crisis, it's too late. Now in Metro Atlanta, we have so many city and county governments, so many school districts. The coordination essentially has to happen at the state level. And that means that the governor in the future must declare a state of emergency early and take charge from the very beginning. The emergency management plan that we have only works. It's designed, it, it's designed to centralize that command it's designed to coordinate with the local emergency response, but it can only do that if the governor takes command early, declares a state of emergency. Now, I, I understand that that is a difficult decision. No one is claiming that it's an easy decision, and I know that there will undoubtedly be public criticism uh, when a governor takes charge in that way and a storm doesn't materialize. I recognize that. It's a difficult job. And again, no one is laying blame today. But we have seen in Metro Atlanta at a minimum the need for the coordination, the need to be out in front, and the need to have the governor take that command from the very beginning. So the stakes are just too high to be hesitant. I appreciate, again, the incredible response that we received 
uh, from, from our citizens. And I know all of you do, and, and the emergency response, I walked in with the state troopers today and, and, and just said thank you. And, and that's, that's my, my overwhelming emotion is thanks to the people who really stepped up to the plate in this regard. And I know we won't forget it, and I know we'll do better next time. Thank you.